good. There's oxygen on this planet. This is the strangest place I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Christian Gensel. I'm the director of Finding Planet Porno, a documentary about a true cinematic outlaw and about an era that brought immense social and moral change. Sex Madness, Peril's Planet. Extra, read all about it. Sex Madness, Peril's Planet. It's a film about Howard Zinn, the director of the very first adult feature film that got theatrical distribution in the United States, Mona the Virgin Nymph shot in 1970, that's two years before Deep Throat and the whole porn chic era. And it was made during a time when pornography was illegal. Um, so there were quite a few run-ins with the law. There was a time when you could be charged with conspiracy to commit oral sex. Howard also made a feature film called Flash Gordon. It's a sci-fi sex comedy spoof of the original Flash Gordon serials. It's a film where Earth is bombarded with mysterious sex rays that originate from the planet Porno. There's a film that went on to become a cult classic all around the world, and it was made by a very talented crew of special effects wizards who later went on to create the fantastic worlds of Star Wars and Star Trek and Jurassic Park, Man in Black and countless others, people like Rick Baker, Dennis Muren, Greg Jean and so on. Howard also briefly played in a rock band, he created audio tapes, he did a comic book collection called Golf and the Comic Strips, and yeah, in his early days he actually tried his hands at smuggling drugs. Pop, pop. You know, like gunshots. At that point I, I knew that I was not a drug dealer. <laughs> Finding Planet Porno is a very unusual documentary. It's a story of a man who's led a very fascinating and adventurous life. And even though he retired a long time ago, Howard is still very much a rebel, is questioning what's going on. And he's, I think, still looking for that elusive Planet Porno. So what do you fill your retirement days with nowadays? Talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> But it's also a film about an era that, well, changed the world, I guess. Uh, not just in terms of cinema, the beginning of the adult film industry, which wasn't an industry back then, it was just a bunch of outlaws, <laughs> but also on a larger scale. Think of the sexual revolution, talking about sex, discussing sex, something that was unheard of during the 40s and 50s, during Howard's youth. As a kid, I had no idea what sex was. Sex was a word that wasn't even mentioned. So we've already shot uh, a lot of material for Finding Planet Porno, but we want to do a second round of interviews. We want to talk to a lot of other people, collect more material. Uh, we've already talked to Howard Zeem himself. We've done extensive interviews with him. I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, we've also talked to Flash Gordon star Jason Williams. We talked to Flash Gordon villain William Dennis Hunt. It was shot as an X-rated film. We spoke to Howard's wife, Judy. Uh, they've been married for, I think, 49 years, which is amazing. I am worried about Howard's health. Uh, we met with Colm Gallagher, who was in a band with Howard, and they they hadn't seen each other for 50 years, I think. Oh, God. I, oh, yeah, I remember this shit. Jesus. We also talked to Bruce Scott, who played Master Beta in uh, the Flash Gordon sequel, Flash Gordon and the Cosmic Cheerleaders. We talked to a couple of other people. Can we begin? <laughs> How many have you made? 2,500 to 3,000 movies. <laughs> We're already in touch with Vince Murdico and Tony Travis, the stars of Flash Gordon 2. We're in touch with Michael Brandy, who played Prince Precious in the original Flash Gordon. We're gonna talk to Maurice Smith, the producer of Flash Gordon 2. And we'd like to talk to many other people who've worked with Howard on several of his films, or who crossed paths with him in some of his adventures. Fuck! <laughs> So this is where you come in. Uh, we're asking you guys, the Kickstarter community, to help us continue working on the film and finish the film. Um, and yeah, we are actually located in Austria. I know, Austria of all places. Oh, flesh. There's no place like home. Uh, the money will largely go towards traveling, uh, traveling to the United States and to the individual cities where uh, people are located. Um, the whole post-production process, recording music, everything. So yeah, you know, if you can spare a dollar, then we'll be very happy about that because every dollar counts. Come on, Doc, we haven't got much time to lose. 
So thank you very much for listening and thank you very much for your support. And here's the very first teaser trailer for Finding Planet Porno. Through the car wash in Malibu, that will be the opening, <laughs> the opening segment. <laughs> Malibu first, car wash. Yeah. First, before we went out and <laughs> talked about all the filth he had made, he took us to a car wash to get his car cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, we are in big trouble. You have four good laughs in the movie. You've got a hit movie. <laughs> I guess I'm sick. Porn is not evil. The church tells you that it's evil. Understatement. Sex madness perils planet. Placing myself. A perfect day. In a market segment. You know, a lot of the modern porno movies, and I always found it, you know, it's so phony to kind of say, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why have you come to the planet Porno? To destroy the terrible sex ray that has brought chaos to our beloved planet Earth. I should think you'd be thanking me. I want to be excited about the things that I have seen. Where do you think planet Porno is? I have no idea. It's certainly not here. <laughs> <laughs>